Moderate to severe dry <laughs> eye is not just inconvenient for Sjogren's patients. For some, it can be extremely uncomfortable. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and my eyes are so painful that I think of it to myself as that they're screaming. Susan used to be a book editor, but Sjogren's syndrome changed all that. She had to go on disability, in part because of her chronic severe dry eye. It can pretty much ruin your life at its worst um, because you're in so much pain, you can't read, you can maybe watch TV, you can't use your computer, but not reading is, is just awful, awful. And there's a limit to how much time you want to spend watching TV. And it's hard to go out if the sun is shining because your eyes are so sensitive to light. Dr. Penny Asbell is a professor at the Mount Sinai School of Medicine. She literally wrote the book on dry eye. Now, Sjogren's syndrome is a collection of signs and symptoms that together, typically, one of part of it is dry eye disease. Now, if you look at it as a group, it's dry eye disease, dry mouth, and often a systemic problem like rheumatoid arthritis. So maybe about uh, 15 or 20 percent of dry eye patients fit into the Sjogren's syndrome group. Uh, they typically have much drier eyes, they're more symptomatic, and of course they have other systemic diseases that they're dealing with as well. But there can be a challenge, but they too can do very well with Lacroserts as an opportunity to provide lubrication, put it in the morning, lubrication that lasts uh, the entire day. They may need to still supplement it from time to time with an artificial tear, but they may end up with a much smoother day with less pain, less discomfort, and less fluctuation of vision. Let's take a look at Moderate to severe dry eye can be caused by a number of things, including Sjogren's syndrome, and your health care provider may prescribe Lacroser to help you treat your symptoms. The surface looks nice and clear. Lacroser, also known as hydroxypropyl cellulose ophthalmic insert, is a unique treatment option. Lacroser comes in a 60-dose box with a flexible applicator. Each 5-milligram dose is individually sealed in a sterile blister pack. We look at uh, the patient who is using their artificial tears more than two to three times a day. Uh, and there's a number of issues when a patient has to use t multiple tears throughout the day, the compliance issue, the hassle factor for the patient. Um, and in addition, we worry about preservative toxicity. Most of the artificial tears that uh, people use are in bottle form and they have preservatives and that can lead to ocular surface problems. Not only is Lacroser preservative-free, Dr. Bruce Koffler says it provides convenient relief and continual comfort. The obvious advantage of using the Lacroser over eye drops is that it is continuously dissolving, whereas the eye drop you'll have to put in multiple times throughout the day, which is both inconvenient, difficult to remember, and also tends to kind of mess up any eye makeup that you may be using. While Lacrosert is not for everyone and only a doctor can decide if it's right for you, it's worked for Janie, who was diagnosed with severe dry eye in 1991. It looks like your, your tear film appears to be uh, normal looking today. And She's a bookkeeper and she says staring at a monitor makes her symptoms even worse. I spend a, a good deal of the day looking at computer screens or reading reports. And without the, the light research, my eyes would be very dry and they would ache and burn. And I would just simply want to close them and <laughs> tell the world to go away, but can't make a living like that. Probably lose your job. <laughs> so with the use of the light research, I'm able to have my eyes moist all day. We're going to show you how to properly insert Lacrosert. Much like wearing contact lenses, it takes a little practice. First, wash your hands thoroughly and dry them. Remove the applicator and make sure it's clean. You should rinse it under hot water and shake off the excess before each use. Carefully open the blister pack on a flat, clean surface. Don't be surprised at how small it is, smaller than a grain of rice. Pick up your dose of Lacrosert with the applicator, then gently grasp open your lower eyelid and place the dose deep in the pocket called the lower cul-de-sac. Once you insert the Lacrosert to the inside of your eyelid, it should come off the applicator. Let your eyelid close as usual. You may or may not feel what is called a foreign body sensation when you start using Lacrosert. That's the feeling you have something in your eye. If placed properly, it should not be uncomfortable. 
Again, just like wearing contact lenses for the first time, for some people it takes a little getting used to. Be sure to carefully read the instructions provided and, if possible, practice inserting your LacroCert while still in your doctor's office. If improperly placed, LacroCert may result in a corneal abrasion. It's really not difficult and a lot of people say, oh, doesn't that hurt? <laughs> and it really doesn't hurt. You don't even feel it. Once the LacroCert is in place, it starts to dissolve. LacroCert typically starts to dissolve almost immediately. Um, I've had it in my own eye and it's a remarkable product. Uh, initially, you can hardly feel it or maybe you might have slight irritation from the LacroCert, but almost within the first five or ten minutes it begins to dissolve. During the day, by retaining moisture either from your own tears or from artificial tears, LacroCert becomes a reservoir, lubricating your eye in a soothing and protective tear film. LacroCert contains no preservatives. This means people who are sensitive to preservatives may experience relief from their dry eye symptoms without the potential risks associated with common eye preparation preservatives. Because severe dry eye is often treated with more than one therapy, your doctor may prescribe LacroCert along with other medications. Look to the right and look to the left. Look up. LacroCert should not be used by people who are hypersensitive to hydroxypropyl cellulose, which is the active ingredient of LacroCert. Once you start using the LacroCert, you will feel some relief uh, for the first day, but uh, you'll get more effect um, as the first week and two uh, progresses on. Uh, the reason for this is that the LacroCert will begin to aid in healing the ocular surface for some of the dry spots that, that you have. You can feel confident using LacroCert because it has been on the market for many years. Both its risks and benefits are well known. You should follow insertion and removal instructions carefully. Common side effects were mild and temporary. They include transient blurriness. You shouldn't drive or operate machinery until the blurriness goes away. Some eye discomfort or irritation. Matting or stickiness of the eyelashes. Sensitivity especially to light edema or swelling of the eyelid, and hyperemia or bloodshot eyes. Improper placement of LacroCert can lead to corneal abrasion. LacroCerts will work for up to a 12 to 24 hour period. We find that some patients just need one LacroCert during the day. We find other patients like to put a second LacroCert in during the day. If possible, you should use LacroCert for the first time while you are still in your doctor's office so that they can help you learn how to insert it. At the end of the day, much as you would with contact lenses, many patients like to remove LacroCert before they go to sleep. This can usually be done by taking a clean tissue and pressing gently on your lower eyelid to expel any unused LacroCert. Then just throw the tissue away. Susan says LacroCert helps to control some of the symptoms of her Sjogren's syndrome. Oh my God, does it work for me? Because it works right away and it just keeps on it lasts more than, more than 12 hours. Although Susan's experience may not be typical, many patients do experience substantial relief. For more information on dry eye caused by Sjogren's syndrome, ask your health care provider or check out one of these websites, the Sjogren's Syndrome Foundation website at Sjogren's.org or the LacroCert website at LacroCert.com.